The Toronto Video Atlas of Surgery is an open access resource and it's intended to help surgeons teach surgeons. By combining high definition surgical videos and patient specific three dimensional computer animations, the Atlas demonstrates surgical procedures in a way that tells a story that surgeons can then use to convey very specific messages. Surgery is a very visual discipline, and while it's important to show what you can see in the surgical field, often what is more valuable is revealing the structures that are hidden and only visible to experienced eyes. I'm not an artist, and I don't pretend to be one, but a lot of the ways I would teach in the operating room would be to draw things out for my trainees. One of the specific things that I always have trouble uh, teaching residents about um, is a very basic skill at a C-section. And no matter how many times I've tried to like draw it out and explain it, uh, once I was able to work with the team at TVA Surge and uh, they were able to animate that for me, it really delineated exactly the way I want you to do it in that video. Um, one of the hardest surgeries to kind of wrap your brain around is a vaginal hysterectomy. Everyone was so excited about the vaginal hysterectomy video because that allows you to get that exposure of seeing a procedure a certain number of times before you're actually the one in the OR doing it and you can pause and rewind and reflect on various steps as you go and I think that's one of the ways where uh, the videos are really helpful. When I give talks I think it's it's, it's either going to be talks to explain surgical technique, like, you know, mainly laparoscopic, like explaining someone on a, on a slide that says, you know, you put a chest tube through the porta or to show a video of a 3D demonstration of how you do that. Well, it's night and day, right? Like people will capture an image much better than a text. And it's the same, you know, for a cancer talk when you explain how a cholangiocarcinoma grows, where it grows. You know, it's much better to show a video that is a 3D reconstruction of what we're doing than actually explain on a slide where the tumor is exactly. So in terms of colleagues, I think it's a little bit the same thing. It's, it's trying to explain, you know, how we do this, how we do that. And I definitely shared many times links to the TVA search to show them exactly, you know, how we did this. And a clear example was the last Alps video. We are a group that we've done very few. And these are groups that have done are the leads in Alps and I have done 50, but they've never seen like a better explanation of how an alt is done that after this video. Right? But people are really appreciative of, of, you know, of what TVA Search is doing. Another reason we created the Atlas is to inspire our colleagues to approach difficult cases using different techniques and methods. We strongly believe in keeping knowledge open and accessible, which is why the Atlas is, by design, free for anyone around the world. When teaching our fellows things like how to parachute an arterial anastomosis, how to set up a bile duct anastomosis, what is the W maneuver that we talk about. These little tips and tricks are really helpful and very well displayed in the Toronto Video Atlas of Surgery. The Atlas reminds me that it can be done in bigger and better ways around the world, doing these operations that we sort of dream of here. And I plan for cases that are complex but rare, such as liver resections with cable resections, I use the video atlas for planning and also to share with the trainees my plan for that specific case. I really do believe that the Toronto Video Atlas is instrumental in helping me provide better care for my patients. The Toronto Video Atlas uh, helped me a lot uh, as a fellow, but even more as a consultant. I found uh, his 3D animation uh, one of the best ways to explain uh, surgery to fellows, especially the quality of the video and the way how nicely everything is described, even the most complex uh, procedure, I think is one of the best uh, way to help a trainee to understand the complex technique. We just finished going over a case of a left uh, liver resection and use the Toronto Video Atlas to talk about some of the tips and tricks going over that uh, operation. So we used a couple videos. First, the video that described the segmentectomy itself, and then an additional video that described the windows to the abdomen in detail. Uh, I think we thought the videos were invaluable both to better understand the operation and to better understand the anatomy that helps us navigate the operation. So keep making more videos. Thanks so much. Hi, this is Albert from TBA Surge. Uh, on behalf of the production team, we just want to say how privileged we are in working with our expert surgeons uh, to continue creating video content for everybody around the world. Um, if you like our videos or if our videos have helped you in any way, 
please consider supporting us through our online crowdfunding platform, Patreon. Your monthly contributions will help us continue filling in the video atlas, um, in particular starting new chapters that involve uh, new surgical specialities. So thank you again for your continued support and uh, stay tuned for our next video.